friends welcome back to code tonight in today's video we will see how to solve the error that you can see on the screen so the error is saying unable to update the entity set because it has a defining query and no insert function element exist so um, basically this is the error that you get in entity framework when you will try to uh, save or update any record then you will get this error sometimes so now we will see the main cause of this error so if you go to your ADMX file you will notice the table that you are using so um, there is a strange thing in this table uh, from other models is like in this model you will see that there is a key in front of one column and in this there are keys in front of all the columns now what that means is that there is no single primary key available in the table that's why it is not able to figure out how to uh, save or update the record so we will just go to the database here and i will just close everything and then we will open the table so we will right click on the table and click on design so here you can see there is no primary key defined that is why it is not able to uh, save the data because for a DMX to work correctly it always needs one primary key in the table so you have to make sure that there is a, a single primary key available in all the tables that you are using the uh, in the entity framework okay so uh, we will try to add one column uh, as a primary key so we will set this column as primary key and after that we will also do one more change is identity specification to yes okay so now this is also a identity field and we will save the table so since the table is saved now we will go to the application again and we will stop the application and now we will delete this model and we will add the table model again so we will click on update model from database and in the add we will see the table which we deleted now and that is products so we will click on finish so now you can see that it also has a, a key on the single column uh, rather than on the all the columns so now we will just uh, save the ADMX and then we will rebuild the ADMX file because whenever you use ADMX you have to rebuild it after all the changes all the new changes okay so the table is saved now we will just rebuild the solution so you can see rebuild all succeeded now we will just run the application uh, here i have created a api for inserting the new product which was earlier giving the error so we can just change some data so you can know that the data is inserted so I will add 5 in front of all the records so the API is uh, running now and then we will see if we get the same error while saving or not so and this is the insert api so i am hitting the api uh, earlier this api was uh, giving error uh, while saving the data okay so now we will just go to insert product and we will go and 
so you can see that save changes is working correctly now and it is not giving any error currently okay so now we will also go to the table and see if the data is saved or not uh, so we will just add a new query and we will see select star from so you can see that uh, uh, this record has been inserted so and uh, this is how you can uh, save the data uh, without the error in entity framework and this is how you can save uh, the error uh, for insert function not available okay so if you have any kind of issue then you can comment on the video uh, and thanks for watching guys